Why is the Philippine Postal Service so slow? It was this way when I left 50 years ago. Today, it's still the same. I don't know if anybody is using the post office to mail something out. Maybe that is the reason why, just like in Mexico, people would come over, be on a queue to collect their paycheck. Why? They don't trust the post office in Mexico. I don't know if that's how it is in the Philippines, but 50 years ago when I was working, we had to go to the office and collect our money. Today, it's still so slow. So let me share with you my two experiences. Recently, I received an email from one of the suppliers of my medication. But first, let me talk about what happened in 2018. The real estate company forwarded to me the condo documents that I have to sign to prepare for the settlement. I signed everything, dropped it off at the U.S. Post Office. Somehow, it was not getting to the Philippines. So I inquired and the U.S. Postal Service said they tracked it and it says it was delivered to the Philippine Post Office. And they said at that point, we don't have any control over it. So I told the builder that, well, I'll tell you what, I'm on my flight to the Philippines anyway. Let me just email to you these documents that I signed. And then when I get to the Philippines, I will present to you the original documents and we can proceed with the settlement at that point. So that's what I did. When I arrived, guess what? The documents, the original documents that I mailed arrived. What's wrong with the Philippine Postal Service? I don't know if it's the Philippine Postal Service or just the individual Filipinos working at the post office with their so-called laid-back attitude. Everybody's commenting that, oh, it's so nice in the Philippines uh, and the only complaint they have is that people are too relaxed to a fault. And uh, today, I ordered, as usual, I ordered my medication, Januvia, uh, from... Rx Medical Services, I think, but you'll see it in the email. And uh, it's coming from Turkey. It was coming from Turkey before, but somehow this time they sent it through the Philippines. So I said, gee, you know, if they're manufacturing or producing this now in the Philippines because it's cheaper in the Philippines or overseas than it is here by a significant amount. I said, that's nice that it's being produced in the Philippines, but I'm not sure if it is being produced in the Philippines. It says in transit through the Philippines. I was still not getting it after one month. So before I used to get it within, I would say about three weeks coming from Turkey. This time not known to me, it's coming from Philippines. So I followed it up. And they said, no, there is no activity. So this is what we did because of the urgent need for the medication. We will ship another one to you through India. And hopefully I get it. So let's take a look at the email that was sent to me. This came October 7th, uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah. It says, Danny, we had issues with the Philippines, the transit country, country and more than 50 packages were and are stuck with them. They have 50 packages, so I guess 50 people complain. Considering the urgency of need for medications by our customers, our dispensing pharmacy has reshipped all the packages on September 16th through India Post and the transit country and hopefully everything should work out fine. Hence, eventually you will receive two packages <clears throat> from your order. Of course, you will not be charged for the second package. That's nice. Unfortunately, all 50 plus orders that we had to reship are not showing up any updates yet either. We're working diligently to get this matter resituated. Thank you for your patience. Regards Affordable RX Meds. That is the company name. Uh, they're based in Florida. 
we I used to order it and it used to come all the time all the time from Turkey but somehow they made a change this time I don't know why but uh, they sent it to the Philippines and 50 packages are missing meaning no updates as to what the status is it's not being received or it's not being shipped I don't know if it's being stolen or if it's just a matter of inefficiency we will see if I eventually get it that means it's just a matter of inefficiency if I don't get it at all probably it was stolen that is really a shame that it is happening this is the second time something came from the Philippines or I sent to the Philippines and it was delayed hopefully this is just delayed but I wish the Philippines would do something about that because it tarnishes the reputation of the country not only that but Philippine companies who should be relying on this mail should start using them after 50 years it's still the same way unbelievable unbelievable anyway one more area that I wish will be changed in the Philippines please do share this with others I'll appreciate it thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to my channel God bless and make it a great day